Hello guys and welcome to this lesson, web page construction. Before we get into this um, topic, keep in mind that there is no rule, like there is no specific steps to follow in order for you to create a website. Okay, this is just some step that will definitely help you to save time when you have to create any website and also we'll definitely get an idea of the um let's say the details from the website before you start creating a website okay so let's start the first step is drawing like a sketch okay which means is like you just take a piece of paper and you just start drawing something and you know with not the intention to be perfect like you don't want this to be perfect you just want to get the idea so let's do an example if i go to yes click text okay so let's say that um my friend wanted a new website for um her new business which is a bakery right and she asked me to do a website so i'll be like okay i can do it and this is what i can do for you so i come here and i just do this line here okay and there you go right this is like the browser or it could be a piece of paper and what about if we add the website name here okay this is the name of the website and we have some you know navigation here which is some links okay so we have two links here and we have three links there okay imagine this is home this is about this is um our products and this is contact and this is follow us on social media something like that okay so the next step is what about if we have a heading here that says um gallery and this is have a line and this going to have three images and then you might have a title okay another title here and another title here and here you probably might want some client feedback let's say any feedback and you can call it mm, I don't want to call it feedback, but yes, yeah, so let's let's name it feedback. But you can say something like what um, clients are saying, something like that. And so I want to have a, like a slideshow. Let me see if I can. All right, good. So I want to have like a kind of slideshow here. Okay, I have two buttons. And then I have like a circle image and then I have whatever they want to say about the business. Okay. Just that and so on. This is my image here. All right. So now you have an idea about exactly what you want to do. So when you're meeting with your client, um, you know, as let's say as much detail as the, the client is providing to you, you just can be writing things down like this. Okay, so they see it, and of course, just be specific. This is gonna look much better. We just, I'm just trying to get an idea on how your own website will look like, right? So this is might be a step one. Let me go to step number two. Step number two is the outline. So remember, we have this um, navigation here. Let me just delete everything and imagine we have which is the home right and then we also have about 
And of course we have, let's say contact us, those three. So you as a developer, you can just create a, like an outline and be like, okay, so here I will have like some gallery and the feedback. Okay. And what else? You can also have the, um, the contact form. That's okay to have it here aim here. Doesn't matter. And so on. Okay. So this is an outline before you creating your website in this way, you definitely will have an idea about, uh, where to put, uh, anything that you might have in mind. Okay. For example, the gallery. You could say, I want to add a gallery here. Sorry about that. Got a gallery here. And I also want to add another one right here. It's the same thing. As long as you know what to do when you come to the last process, then, um, is, you know, you fine, right? So let's go to the third step. Okay. Hmm. All right. They'll create code for me. I would say this is not the third step. Okay. But it, that will be depend on the person. Okay. For other, yes, this might be the, you know, they might be the, the last step or not. But, uh, for me, after this, I will do one more thing. Okay. I will definitely play around with Photoshop or any other mockup thing, which is out there. And I will definitely design the website myself, or I will definitely pay to a designer to create the, um, the design, the whole design of the website. In this way, if I create something that will definitely look exactly what I can create for my client, they can make changes there. They can say, okay, look, we don't want this color. Oh, what about instead of having those oh, um, square image, let's have all circle image everywhere and so on. I believe that if you create like a, a Photoshop thing or any design, anything, because there's a whole bunch of software out there that you can use to create um, a design of a website. But if you can do that, before getting into here, that would be perfect because remember the sketch, you just not giving them enough information. Yes. You are telling them the structure of the web page. You are telling them like, okay, you probably have this, this, and this, but you are not telling them like, um, yeah, of course you can tell them like, okay, this is going to be red. This is going to be blue. All right. But trust me. You are not telling them everything on this step. Okay. That's for definitely you need to, um, if of course, if you can, um, after this step, I would definitely create a visual design where they can just go ahead and say, I love it. Or I want to change this, or I want to change that, or I don't like this. I don't like that. Okay. And so on. And then after I have the, the whole thing, I will definitely go and just write the code. Okay. In this way, definitely you will save. You have no idea, not only time, but a lot of stuff. <laughs> Trust me, a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, let me see what else, what else? Um, there is not specific like amount of time that you need to spend here or here or here. Okay. It's all up to you. Nobody can tell you, um, you have one hour to spend, you know, you should just be spending only one hour doing the sketch or you should be, it's all depends on the client, you know, depends on who you're working for. Probably they have to like do a meeting with the president and then like create, you know, meeting with someone else. And then they have to bring many people at the same time. So they are still trying to figure it out what they're going to put on the website and things like that, um, takes time. Honestly, it will definitely take a lot of time. 
it all depends on the person um, you are creating the uh, the website for. Okay. On the next lesson, we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit more about um, new HTML tag. See you on the next lesson.